Igish Fiontech versus Jessica Bagula is the third quarterfinal for the Ladies US Open for 2022. And both players have had to fight to get to the quarterfinal stage. Bagula started the tournament off as the number eight seed and will take on the qualifier Golubic in the first round. And this was no trouble for Bagula, winning in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2. In the second round, she'd take on Sasnovich, the unseeded Belarusian. And again, this would be no problem for Bagula, winning in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. In the third round, she'd take on the qualifier Yuan, who had been very impressive to get to this stage. And after dropping the second set, Pagula would bagel her qualifier opponent in the final set. 6-2, 6-7, 6 love. In the fourth round, she'd take on the 21st seed, Kvitova, who she had struggled with in the past. But she didn't struggle this time, eventually prevailing in straight sets. 6-3, 6-2, to get to the US Open quarterfinal. Shriontek started the tournament off as the number one seed and would take on the Italian Paolini in the first round. This was no trouble for Shriontek, getting through in straight sets. 6-3, 6 love. In the second round, she'd take on former US Open champion champion Sloane Stevens, And after a close first set, Shriontek got through in straights, 6-3, 6-2. In the third round, she'd take on Davis, the unseeded American, who had just taken out the 28th seed, Alexandrova. And after an easy first set, Shriontek had to fight from 4-1 down to get the second, eventually getting through in straight, 6-3, 6-4. In the fourth round, she'd take on the unseeded German Niemeyer, who had a very impressive run at Wimbledon only a few months ago. And after dropping the first set, Shriontek had to battle in her toughest match yet, getting through in three, two, six, six, four, six love to get to her first US Open quarterfinal. These two have played three times before with Sviantec leading their head-to-head 2-1 with their two previous meetings going to Sviantec and they're actually this year during the Sviantec streak. If Bagula's going to win, she needs to block out the fact that she's lost the last two and she has to use the crowd to her advantage. Sviantec hasn't been playing that great and that added pressure of maybe a biased crowd could push Sviantec over the edge and Bagula, being very solid, needs to stay as solid as she has been over the last couple of matches. If Shiontek's going to win, she needs to play better. She's been playing against low-ranked players not as well as she could have, and she's getting away with it because of their ranking. Can't be doing that against a fellow top 10 player. She needs to play better. The forehand needs to work. So does the backhand and also the serve. Been really messy for Shiontek so far. This is going to be a very fun matchup, but I'm going to go with Shiontek. I feel like three sets Shiontek. I don't know if Pagula is going to be able to get the job done. She's been very consistent this year. Quarterfinals, finals, semifinals, making it to the second week of events, but Shiontek's the best player on the planet, and that head to head is very concerning. Shriontek in three sets for me. What do you reckon down in the comments? Who's going to win this match?